Congress is finally on a roll in its quest to reform the way prices are set for patients at the drugstore. While scientists and researchers invent new medicines and their companies help set the cost that allows them to continue to work on other therapies, the actual price patients pay at the drugstore is determined by middlemen called pharmacy benefit managers or PBMs. Last week was a Senate committee, and this week it was the House Energy and Commerce Health Subcommittee's turn to tell PBMs, though, that's enough. The three largest PBMs continue to block more than 1,150 treatments from their formularies, including low-cost insulin alternatives. Delaying action any longer on this bill will result in increased costs for patients. You know, my patients never ask me to dispense them a medication with the highest-priced medicine. Why do the PBMs think that's what's best for patients? By delinking administrative fees paid to PBMs from the price of medicines, this proposal will help to correct as misaligned incentives and bring relief to patients at the pharmacy counter. A top biolegislative priority is reforming the drug pricing system by exposing the effects PBMs have on patients and their doctors. The PBMs have, have kind of gotten away with no reforms at this point. They're the last uh, kind of last player out there um, that hasn't seen any any changes to their market. Market. Uh, so it's it's a real need that's out there and it has real impact on patients out of pocket costs. Um, we're very much looking for changes that uh, attract the trend, lack of transparency, spread pricing, rebate pass through and delinking. Um, those are all different ways of attacking a problem where PBMs are encouraged to demand higher and higher list prices so that they can ask for bigger and bigger rebates for themselves, but then not share any of those savings with the patients who actually go to the pharmacy counter and pay for the therapy and need it for their children, for themselves, for their loved ones. Uh, that's the system that we need to reform. Now that the Senate and House committees have taken action, the rest of Congress will have to take action as well and say PBM reform is the right prescription for patients. This is Bio.News.